So we're at the studio of Z Zillia Keys. Zillia is a graduate of the Art Institute of Chicago and currently teaches at um, the Art Students League in New York and she's been there on the faculty for 15 years. This particular um, art piece, I'm very curious about Zillia, as it's uh, known as Abstract Bird Series, and I wonder if you could tell us what it's all about. Oh, I'm delighted to know this and welcome. Thank you for visiting my studio in Nyack, New York, by the legendary Hudson River. And uh, so uh, let me begin. Uh, uh, this uh, uh, series, uh, uh, titled Abstract Bird Series, uh, uh, was created in uh, Seattle, where I taught for five years. And often during this time in my uh, sphere time, I would go down to the uh, sound and uh, observe nature. Um, and one day I uh, discovered an eagle uh, birds uh, family uh, in, within the, the surrounding trees and uh, I, uh, um, I was uh, very interested in capturing their uh, ability to fly and uh, that uh, flight in itself uh, um, was uh, a remarkable observation when one just uh, really uh, um, focuses on this. And uh, so I, um, I was always interested in the invisible form and uh, uh, abstractions in nature that one could really not necessarily see. So I would, was not interested in creating a uh, bird's flight that still resembled, even in an abstract uh, form, the bird's uh, flight or the, the wing of the bird at flight. So I, I uh, decided to, to do some research in art and science, and I uh, was always interested in, in that, and uh, in science um, related to art and vice versa. So uh, uh, I found out uh, and I discovered, so to speak, that uh, the bird's flight was uh, supported by uh, wind turbines, so the atmosphere of the wind. So there was the invisible form I just shake hands one more time with my interest in nature and uh, and uh, this kind of, I call it almost phenomena, but it is science, of course. So um, I was uh, um, I was captured. I was I wanted to create a whole family, and so this is how the series came all about. Now um, let's start with this uh, uh, kind of uh, how about. Um, uh, uh, this one right here, this is a, a, a characteristic of the thermals at flight, so to speak. You can actually see how the thermal is kind of ticking off uh, and surrounded by a spherical shape. Uh, uh, since uh, um, geometry has always captured my interest as well in nature, nature is full of geometry and it's a manifestation, of course, for everything, anything that's invisible. The visibility is manifested by the support of, of the forms in three-dimensional geometry. And so the spherical shapes here uh, 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 describe this very well. And here we see uh, another piece. Uh, this is the uh, thermal uh, resting, so to speak, within the spherical shape right here. And it's kind of uh, waiting to take off, but resting or nesting right now. And uh, I found these uh, wood pieces actually along the shore. Uh, they were very, very, um, uh, not very um, stable anymore and very, uh, 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 lots of water on them. And so I dried them and I kind of, uh, kind of, uh, um, uh, um, kind of tried to help them or support them back into life. And so that's what happened. And they are just flourishing here. And here we have a piece that the, the thermals are really very much uh, uh, um, uh, uh, seen. And uh, it's actually put a little metal ring piece right here to say that it also has to, to do with flight of uh, uh, not only birds, also airplanes are supported by, by, by this, by the wind thermals. And uh, uh, again, this is, uh, uh, again, the spherical uh, part here. Um, uh, very important for the thermals to take off. Uh, the flight takes off, uh, and here we see also the uh, uh, cylindrical part right here. It's a part of the ge ge geometry, the three-dimensional geom uh, geom geometric form I just um, um, described earlier. And here we go to this uh, wonderful piece, a uh, magic flight. 
and uh, I uh, uh, assembled uh, the, um, some atomic shapes, atom shapes, because everything that has to do with motion and uh, 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 flight has to do with atoms, otherwise it can't happen. And here's that the wonderful rock I found along the shore. I patinaed it, color patinaed it, and uh, um, I like the substance of the earth as well to make it uh, more a manifestation of uh, where flight takes off. Uh, from the earth or from the tree or usually from the earth, from the environment of nature and it's also called the philosopher's stone.